Japan's force, therefore, must maintain itself in a state of readiness to secure our entire country and protect it from present and future dangers. The Defense Act charges the Defense Force with the defense of Guyana. The force, therefore, is obligated to secure the state and safeguard the entire territory from invasion, incursion, and insurrection. Incursions must be deterred. Insurrections must be suppressed. The state must remain secure. Frontline villages are guardians of our national territory and patrimony. They are our first line of defense against any attempt at incursion. They are the eyes and ears which can alert the defense and police forces to hostile action which threaten public security and national defense. The nation can be assured of the government's resolve to protect the people and preserve the national patrimony. It commits to continuing to take measures to shield the people from the peril of transnational crime. The Defense Force will continue to work with frontier villages to protect our territory and natural resources and repel threats to human safety and national security. These four pillars, organization, operations, cooperation, and national integration, are the stanchions which sustain the state. The force is the vanguard of national defense. The force is conscious of its duty to preserve our territory, protect our people, and develop the economy by implementing our national defense doctrine. The force has been and always must be ready to deter aggression, defend sovereignty, and show the development of our country as a safe, secure, and strong state. Subtítulos y traducción. Mi mapa de Venezuela incluye nuestro Esequibo.